Hello again folks, welcome back to the next episode of Doxa playing Skyrim, the Argonian Assassin. In the previous episode we um, created ourselves a whole bunch of potions and a nice new weapon to deal with uh, vampires and the like that could, you know, completely negate the strength of our sword. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, use that in battle. I do need to favorite that. Uh, it is favorite. Why isn't it in my short menu then? Where are War eggs? There you go. Um, should I give it a hotkey? Let's give it nine for now. Oh, there's no nine. Give it five because when do I use fury really? That'll work. Makes it easier to find it. And that's it actually. Uh, we're gonna go and. Um, go to Mazolft, I think. Unless I can think of something else that I need to do. Um, do I have any... I've, I've got plenty of potions. Yeah. Let's see. Where was Mazolft? All the way over there. Holy cow. What I'm going to do is I'm going to travel to Whitron. And... Do I want to fast travel or just go there? Let's just go there. I mean, we've been over this path like recently, so it shouldn't have anything new, you know. Uh, no, not yet. Otherwise, we might lose Serana. She might get confused. Yeah, there you go, Miss Serana. She is following us now. <coughs> fast travel to White Run. There you go. And here we are. I'm going here with the, re with the reason that I want to go and have a look at enchanting and possibly put an enchantment on my uh, new axe. I wouldn't mind getting like a uh, life drain on it, I guess. I can see that working. Kinda. Ish. Right? Yeah. Having an enchant on it would definitely help out there. Um, actually, I need to go dig through her seat. One second, folks. There I go. Fixed it. Grabbed myself one of my Grand Soul Gems. And hopefully we should be able to go and put a nice enchantment on uh, my new War Axe. Yeah, man. I'm thinking maybe Fire. Because, you know, I've got the Frost for melee. And the Fire would help against, you know stuff that would be resistance against frost, I guess. Oh, okay, let's have a look here. The enchantment table was, I think, in the keep. We haven't been in this area for, like, forever. <laughs> it's so easy to forget, like, the, the, the smallest things. Even this weirdo that's screaming yet again. Oh lord. The dung of mortality, eh? No comments. Oh, that stamina. I am so, so done with that. Like, a few of you actually finally uh, responded to my question about it. Well, finally. Um, and... It seems that most of you actually agree in just dropping the vampire, which is an interesting thing because a lot of you were previously really interested with it. But I think you can see in the uh, LP thus far that it's being a detriment. It's slowing things down and I don't like that. I like keeping things going and rolling and, you know, having action instead of having to stop and keep an eye out. Enchanter. Let's have a look here. Um, item. Dragon Bone War Axe Enchantment Absorb Health and um, Okay, can I like something not right? Oh right, I need to press a button. Hold on. First I'm gonna do the soul gem, grunt and enchantment absorb health. How much would this give? Eleven points of health. That's not a lot. What fire? 14 points of fire. Oh, wha look at those charges! Um, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the 14 points of uh, fire. That that's that's 114 uh, points of damage with 125. That's really really nice. But so is that paralyzation. Uh, that's not really too nice. Pity. Yep, we're gonna go with fire. Why not? Yes. That's it. Bam! Any other items? Like my dagger doesn't have anything on it either. Is there anything I can actually do on the dagger that would help out with the whole... Yeah, yeah, I'm an assassin. Maybe a paralyzation on the dagger? Like when you pa when you basically stab on someone in the back and they for some reason would still be alive, they'd be paralyzed? And then I can do a double stab? You know what? I'm gonna do it. Yep. Uh, actually, no. Let, let, let's... Let's try this. Can I, like... It's 25 or 53. One second. I can deal with the one second, because in that one second with a dagger you can attack like twice or something. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, soul gem. And greater. Is there any difference? I don't see any difference here. Hold on. Trying to figure out this as well while we while we are go only six charges with the petty and lesser. It has thirteen charges and with the greater. It has fifty three. You know, what, folks, I'm gonna quickly run back and get myself my another grant. We're gonna go and test this out because I'm really curious now. And here we are. Let's give it a go and see what happens. The item is the uh, Dragonbone Dagger. The enchantment is the uh, Absorb Health. Uh, no, no, no. I said I said Paralyze. Paralyzation. For one second. The Soul Gem. Used. Here's the Grant. Oh, that is nice. I'm gonna take that. Yeah, that's awesome. Whoosh. Um, I uh, pressed the wrong button. I'm not sure if maybe saw you guys saw it already, but I got myself a uh, nice shield. I'm, I'm not sure. Did I craft this one in the previous episode or not? <laughs> I did some stuff behind the scenes. I just can't remember what. I don't have... A, I do have a fortify block. Arg. If only I had a... I'm derping, folks. I'm derping. Let's just act as if nothing happened. And I actually was smart enough to bring two Grand Soul Gems and not just now run all the way back to Horsey and grabbed that Soul Gem out of it. Let's just ignore that that never happened. And I had a, 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 a stroke of brilliance and got it right away. 18%. That's not too bad. Yeah, I'm actually gonna go for that. 18% more damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Whoosh! That is pretty nice. So, what is the difference now between the two shields that we have? Because we have two shields. Shields. Let's see. Wow, that one is 25% more damage? How do you do that? But this one has a higher armor. Well, the question is, what is better? Is it like the armor rating or the percent damage blocked? Huh. We'll give them both a try. Okay, and now I'm finally completely ready to go out and go into Mazolft headstrong and be able to wipe the place out. I like this idea. I'm actually gonna go and skip town. Um, because I don't see the use of you guys having to look at me running through the town again. So, folks. You know what, folks? I just made a small... Um, decision I am going to go and become a werewolf right now this is just too much of a pain in the behind uh, to stay a vampire 
Let's see, I think it's in here, wasn't it? I could swear that there was an entrance there. Didn't I do this with this character? Oh my goodness, if I didn't do this with this character, I am so completely messed up. Oh dear. I, I could have sworn I was part of this. I could have sworn. Oh no. I'm a slightly little bit worried now. Because I, I fully expected that I could fix this. Where are these guys? What time is it anyways? 8.20? They shouldn't be sleeping. That, that's like super early in the evening. It's like prime time for adventuring and stuff and drinking. That too. Oh, I'm just a servant, dear. Whoa, that's you where everybody is. One of the companions, I'm, uh, sure. I'm going. Why are you aggro, Vilkas? Chill. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared the <coughs> sunlight or something? Uh, what kind but of I weapon still do you hear prefer? the call of the blood? I like the smaller, quicker blades. Torvar. Yes, you're very but fond of saying that. Wh where where is that? It's so dark here. I know this is her room. Let's test that out well, her bed is on, so she can't be that. Hello, I want to join. <gasps> no, he's still I alive. Before, have I? Have we met? I'm sorry if I've forgotten. No. Uh, fresh blood. Hope you know how to handle yourself. No. I didn't do this quest line. Ugh. I could shoot myself, folks. I'm trying to figure out now what I'm supposed to do. Oh dear. He's, he's supposed to be dead. D.E.D. -E Your Vasker. Oh, that's that's a total letdown. Um, the only way to fix vampirism is by visiting Morthal, I think, then? Oh, no. Oh, no. I made such a... Around. There you are. Hi. Worried one of them is going to... If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. Yeah, I I didn't do the companions quest. All right then. Darn it! So to fix a vamp. Whoa, she has a nice bow. Isgrimor himself wouldn't have the. Or that's maybe a bow where the texture isn't loading. Derp. That's funny. So yeah, I feel a little bit out of place now, folks, because I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go and fix that whole vampirism problem, and now I can't. Oh dear. Um, okay. Well, here we are, folks. Um, basically, what I did was I ran around the city for a while and I ended up sleeping a few hours at my place that I have here and basically trying to feed on someone. Eventually, I fed on someone, so it'll work. Uh, one of the things that I did forget with the whole wanting to drop the vampirism is the fact that I would lose out on all my necromage perks which I uh, vividly remember are uh, kinda essential that, like I did some really uh, you know really important stuff there so I'm kinda tempted to go and look on the uh, nexus and see if there's maybe a few vampire mods out there which change a few things around uh, most notably, what I'd like to see is the stamina. Oh, hello. Oh, 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 oh. Butterflies. The stamina debuff that you get, I want that removed. And I don't want it to remove to be uh, cheating. Or anything, or... Um, I just want it to be regenerating normally in sunlight, because it's slowing down the LP. Uh, some of you might not, not like that, but, uh, you know, other people 
kind of want to see me keep on going and not stop every, you know, every few days to all of a sudden scurry about and try to eat someone because oh no, I'm about to. Uh, what is it called? Like you find the weirdest things when you walk around Skyrim. Uh, because oh no, I can't regenerate, so I need to go and wait or something. It's not cool. I have no idea what's going on here, but it's interesting. Did she just punch? Hello? No, ain't this <coughs> a surprise. Oh, hello. Dang! How did Serana get a fire weapon? When did Serana get a fire? Okay, Serana got a fire sword, folks. I have no idea where she got that from, but it's kind of cool. Yeah, this is just all junk. Uh, can keep it. I am, however. Fire salts. Oh, it's a vigilant of Standar. That's pretty nice. And the rest is junk. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I am gonna go and look for a uh, mod that basically fixes that one thing. I want to hopefully find a mod that uh, lets you configure it properly. I would not like remove a lot of the debuffs that you get from uh, being a vampire but that one thing the whole stamina degeneration it uh, or you know setting it to zero it's not helpful it, it's slowing things down and I hate it that is the one thing I have against come on give me the blue butterfly it's the one thing that I have against vampire and I think once that would be gone it would be easier what I also would like to see is why can't I just like bottle some blood or something and use that as a sustenance? Makes sense to me, but then again I'm 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 just a newbie vampire apparently. Ooh. Ooh, 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 God. That's nice. Uh oh. Yeah, it's loading in the towers. Where is Serana? Oh! And that actually was my timer, folks. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go and call the episode right here. And we might actually go into the tower, sneak around, maybe kill a few people there, who knows. Uh, but it should be interesting. So folks, yeah, sorry if this episode didn't really get anywhere. I really would have liked to get some real fighting done, but... Now we're slowly getting close to Mazolft. I think next episode I should be able to hit Mazolft and uh, we'll be going into it and get stuff going. So folks, as always, I'll be right back. <laughs>